Hello my strong strong friends and welcome to 5 Minute Friday. My name is Meg Squats and every Friday I make a video um, in 5 minutes or like before it turns to 6 minutes. At least I try. I'm filming from a new set because I just moved. Um, this will be the new 5 Minute Friday set so real quick just um, check out this uh, check out this beauty of a of a very professional set. You can see it's been a real priority of mine to make sure that this is set up before this Friday. In all seriousness, I did move to a much bigger place so that I'll have more room and hopefully just an easier setup so that my videos are a little bit better. I do want to deck out the 5 Minute Friday set to, to something. I don't know what it should be. Um, so let me know in the comments below what you guys think like 5 Minute Friday should look like. I think it'd be cool to curate. Uh, maybe I could do like old timey strong women stuff. I think that would look really dope. I have a Pinterest board of old timey strong women. I'll link it down below uh, in case you need some Fitzbo inspiration. Okay, on to today's topic. I want to try and dive into the question of how often should most lifters compete? I think a lot of times we watch our favorite lifters and we see that they're usually competing at a national level competition, hopefully to win, then they compete at the Arnold and then they will compete at world championships. So that's three times a year, maybe they'll do something else in between. Um, but in my opinion, I think most lifters shouldn't look to that as the set example of how often they should compete. Perhaps that might be a little bit too frequent if you are deciding to compete in a competition just for fun or for more experience on the platform i think that's okay but for you to peak which is what those lifters are doing because they want to win and be the best in the world and hold their titles um to continuously peak three times in a year for the average lifter who probably yet hasn't reached their muscle growth potential or probably hasn't spent that much time of their life um, really chasing muscle hypertrophy should probably shift their focus. If you are watching this and you're interested in becoming a great power lifter, you do want to be most concerned with longevity in the sport and maximizing the muscle growth that you can uh, potentially create in your body. Um, the power lifters that you're going to see that are going to perform the best are probably the most jacked. Those lifters have spent many, many years chasing hypertrophy and just many years in the gym. They became elite power lifters by not competing a lot, but rather by just getting better at lifting for many thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of reps over time and just increasing the amount of muscle mass that they have and the overall strength that they have. It's not so much a, oh, I'm just really great at performing thing. It's just, I'm strong as fuck thing. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about competing. Um, I do not think that peaking all the time is good for anyone. And if you want to be a great power lifter, you should really just concern yourself with trying to grow and trying to get as strong as possible to create your 10 year career and set up that trajectory rather than worrying about the next meet you have scheduled in eight weeks after your last competition. <laughs> Now this is just my opinion, I'm sure plenty of people disagree. My strength book reported a study and they found that lifters who score over a 500 Wilkes tend to compete three times a year. And I would say it's kind of hard to suggest that that's the ultimate best number of times that people should compete or the best measure of success because typically people who are scoring over a 500 Wilkes are probably up for more competition money so they're more encouraged to compete. Um, or they're up for like world championship convert, uh, competitions, whereas the rest of us, those of us who are in the 432 Wilkes category, may qualify for big meets at the Arnold, but usually that's like our world championships is nationals and maybe the Arnold if we can qualify. Other than that, our off season is just really spent trying to get big as fuck so that we can catch up to those 500 Wilkes people because we're not gonna do it by just getting lucky at a competition. We're gonna do it by just getting stronger and that's gonna take a long period of time to really achieve. Okay, I hope that this was under five minutes and I hope that you guys enjoyed this. No shade to my strength book. I really do recommend that you guys check out the article that they posted. It has more information on this just with my little caveat. Um, keep that in mind, but I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know what I should do with my set. Also, I thought about wearing glasses for this um, five minute Friday. Should I wear like a 
uniform, like dress like a teacher. Okay, now we're getting perverted. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.